Okay, so question five, part C. Um, the ground is soft and after P reaches the ground, P sinks vertically downwards into the ground before coming to rest. The mass of P is four kilograms and the ground is assumed to exert a constant resistive force of magnitude 5,000 newtons on P. Find the vertical distance that P sinks into the ground before coming to rest. So again, just to recap, we had a situation where there was a, a particle which was projected from 17.5 meters above P. Okay. It went up, reached the top of its flight, came down, and it hit the ground. Okay, its speed with which it was projected from from A, which is our zero position, was 21 meters per second. And the speed with which it hits the ground is 28 meters per second. Okay, and um, basically, oh well, that's all we really need to know for this particular part of the situation. Now, once it hits the ground, the situation changes. The acceleration due to gravity is not the only force acting upon it. Okay, now there's a resistive force of the ground also acting upon it. So we can think of it like a, a particle that's moving through the sand. Okay, and you have its weight acting down, and you have the resistive forces, okay, from the ground acting up. So the of course it's going downwards. This is the way it's, it's moving. Okay, now. Um, we need to find what the acceleration is. It's constant acceleration because the force acting down is constant, which is mg. Now it has a, a mass of 4 kilograms. So there's 4g acting down. That's the force acting down. The force acting up is 5,000 newtons. Okay, that's the force acting up. Okay, so we can say the resultant force, F equals ma, is going to be, as it's going downwards, I'll take down as positive. Okay, it's very important that you get this right. Down is positive. So I'm going to say that 4G minus 5,000, because the 5,000 is acting upwards, um, is equal to M times A. Now, M is 4 kilograms, so it's 4 times A. So this will help us to find what the acceleration is. You've got 4 times 9.8, which is G. Now, G is acting down. Okay, G is acting down. And we're taking down as positive. So this is positive 9.8, okay, because we're acting downwards. So 4 times 9.8, okay, minus 5,000, minus 5,000 divided by 4 will tell me the acceleration that is subjected to this particle, or this particle is subjected to. Okay, so we need to find the acceleration of the particle. All right, whoops, that's showing my stuff uploading. I need my calculator. There it is. Okay. So we got um, four point four, sorry, four times nine point eight minus five thousand. Yep, divided by four. Now that should give us a negative value, and it does. It's minus one thousand two hundred forty point two. So acceleration. It's very big actually. Minus one thousand two hundred. What was it? Two hundred and forty. 0.2 meters per second squared. Okay, that's the acceleration of the particle. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to find, use the Suvat equations um, to find the vertical distance it travels before it comes to rest. So now we have a situation where it's entered the ground at this point. Let's say it's entered the ground at this point. It's come to rest at this point. As it enters the ground, its speed is the speed with which it hits the ground, which is 28 meters per second. So this is now, in the new situation that's developed after it's the ground, this is now its initial velocity. Okay? And I'm going to take down as positive as it's moving down at this point. Okay? We're talking about the situation, new situation where after it's hit the ground, it's moving downwards, so I'll take down as positive. In which case, this is going to be a positive value. Okay? U is, so S is what we have to find. That's what we have to find. So U is going to be positive 28 okay, meters per second. And V is going to be zero because we want to find the distance it travels before it comes to rest. Okay, A is the acceleration we found, which is acting upwards. The acceleration is acting upwards. It's, it's slowing it down. 
Alright, so we're going to take that as negative because we've taken down as positive. Okay, so you're going to have minus 1240.2 meters per second and we need to find s and it looks, looks like we're going to use v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So if we use v squared equals u squared plus 2as, we will get our answer. So v is 0, that comes 0. U is 28, so that's 28 squared. Okay, plus 2 times, now our A is negative 1240.2 and our S is what we have to find. Okay, so we can see that we'll end up with S as 28 squared divided by positive 2 times 1240.2 because this will be a negative term, we'll go on to that side, and then we divide by it. Okay, so that, that should give us our distance that we need. So we have 28 squared um, over 2 times 1240.2 and equals 0 0.316. 0 0.316, let me just... Um, zero seven. Just write it a few more decimal places just to show you. And then our final answer, therefore, the distance that it's travelled is zero point three one six. Or if you want to, we can write it as zero point three two, as we used g in our calculations. So that's zero point three one six. Well, let's see the wording of the question. Find the vertical distance that p sinks into the ground before it coming to rest. So it's best to write it sinks. Okay, 0 0.316 meters or 0 0.32 meters before coming to rest. It's always good to have a little sentence at the end to make it clear what you mean. Coming to rest. Sorry, my pen's getting funny. It's lagging here. And there we have finished that question. I hope that was clear to you. Um, that's the end of question number five from the M1 paper. Okay, thank you for watching.